Hello and welcome back everybody, this is Mohammed Said with you again. In this video, we're going to be starting a new series, Python App Development Series. So most of you know that Python has a lot of libraries, each of them is used to create different applications. So in this series, we're going to be using a library in Python called Kivy. What is Kivy? Kivy is a library that helps you create cross-platform app, uh, cross apps that work on, micro, that work on um, Windows, iOS, Android, Linux, everywhere. So why did I choose um, Kivy in Python? And that's because Kivy is the easiest, yeah, like I know that there's others like Kotlin and Java. I, I choose Kivy because Kivy is the easiest and it helps you create cross-platform apps um, that work on Windows, Mac OS, Linux, um, Android, and iOS. And also, it's small, it's so much easier um, so that if you're typing anything on Java, a hundred lines of code in Java is equal to 10 lines of code in Kivy. So let's get started with our first video in Python app development with Kivy. So first of all, let's get into how to download Kivy. So as I told you, um, Kivy is um, Kivy is a library in Python, so you don't really need to download a lot of stuff. So yeah, first of all, go to kivy.org. Um, or just say Kivy. You're going to get to this website. Um, it's their official website. So if you want to install Kivy, first of all, go to install. You're going to see that it had. Um, it's like it works on Windows, uh, Mac OS, Linux, Raspberry Pi, Android, iOS, and Anaconda. So I'm using Windows. So I'm going to press on uh, pip. And here you're going to see there's a lot of commands that you use on um, command prompt. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of commands to get the commands that you need to start um, like to start using Kivy. And um, it's going to be a lot like you have to get a lot of commands from here. So I'm going to be putting those commands in the description. So here are those commands. Um, so what we're going to do in these commands is like as if you're installing Pygame, you're going to see that when you're installing Pygame, you're going to say pip minus m install kivy and a lot of stuff, install the files and independencies. So first of all, um, you have to say python minus m pip install uh, minus minus upgrade pip win and yeah, a lot of stuff. So I'm going to put this um, commands. I'm going to put the commands in the description. So, yeah, go to command prompt. Um, yeah, open command prompt, and then paste uh, the commands. Um, and for me, it's going to say requirement all um, already satisfied because I already have it. Um, and yeah. Each time I keep doing it, it's going to keep installing um, a lot of stuff. So yeah, you have to install all of those to start working with. Um, need to install all of those to start working with Kivy. So yeah, you have to keep on working with those commands until the end. And also, if you don't have um, Pygame installed, you have to install it to work with Kivy. So now we have imported Kivy, we imported Kivy in our Python. When you go away from Python, it's going to work. Um, but sometimes it, that does not work with you. And um, like so when you say pip, it doesn't do anything. It's going to say like there's nothing called pip. And that's because when you install Python, um, you haven't um, clicked on pip. There is like a checkbox you have to and press right on um, on pip so you can download any libraries. So yeah, um, let's get into how to install the um, like the place the interface that we're going to be using to code. So the one that I prefer um, for Kivy, like for Python, um, it's PyCharm. PyCharm is like IntelliJ, but 
and PyJ is for other users. So go to PyCharm or JetBrains.com um, slash PyCharm slash um, download. Now when I go to the website, I'm going to press on download. Um, PyCharm, you see here, and um, the latest version is 2020.3.3 and um, it's released on 27th January 2021 and um, so if you're using Mac you uh, you can download the Mac version Linux or Windows so I'm using Windows so yeah you're just gonna click here you're going to see that um, if you're using Chrome something's gonna pop uh, pop up here like this one you're going to wait until it's until it's done and then open it so yeah here i'm going to cancel that because i already have pycharm uh so first of all go to pycharm and go to pycharm so yeah open a pycharm and create a new file um, i'm going to create a new file i'll press insert press on new um yeah okay if that doesn't work with you just go to file again and new project um here you have to say where do you want to save that so i'm just gonna keep it with the defaults create um uh, this window um, I'm going to save this window, so I want all my files to be open in this window. Not one file here and one file in other windows. So it's going to be creating virtual environment. So, so here, here I, I open, open my, my virtual, virtual environment. environment. So, so yeah, yeah, first of all, I'm going, going to say import Kiwi, and, and then, then um, from Kiwi. Um, yeah, yeah, from, from Kiwi, Kiwi import from, from Kiwi, Kiwi from Kiwi dot app from Kiwi dot app import um app capital A P P. So here, what this is gonna do is, and um, here we're going to create. And we're, we're going to make Kiwi work, work and we're going, going to import our graphics. graphics. So, yeah, and, and also don't forget, forget to go to your channel um, and say pip, um, pip, pip and so Kiwi. We're going to see that uh, this window pops up. up. And here everything is co it's collecting the data and then loading. Um, so yeah, here it is done. We're going to see there's sensing up there. So it finished sensing then indexing. So now it works and it knows that there's something called Kiwi. So yeah, press enter and say from kiwi kiwi dot uis from kiwi dot uis and import from kiwi dot uis dot label label import label okay um now, now until now, now you see that, that there's no issues you see just there is warnings and um, it, it just says uh, unused, unused. Uh, why it's great because it's, it's unused, unused until, until now we haven't used any of that, that. so we're so going to say here i'm going, going to start coding, coding so we're going to say class um class my app Uh, my app. We're going, we're going to inside those. those. We're, we're going, going to say app. app. 
uh, completed the S class and capital A. Now we're going to press enter um, and I'm going, going to say define build. Um, wait, wait, that's capital. Okay, define. No, no going to say self. Define, define build, build self. Um, no, without, without those, those commas. Um, we're going to press enter. enter. We have, have to put that here and we're going to say return. return. Um, return. So, return, return label. Return label. Return label. Capital L, so yeah, yeah because here when we import the label, label and um, everything, everything is not capital and unless label, label because it's something that, that it's inside it can be, but you can't see it. So in that, that case, case, it has, has to be um, capital. So label inside you're going, going to say text, text equals to uh, put anything in there. there. Um, let's, let's say coding for kids. Okay. And now we're going to say if underscore underscore main um, underscore underscore equal to um oh uh, that's your name that means name. Name is, is equal, equal to main. So if we run the main, um, like what's going to happen? Um, so here main. Uh, here underscore underscore. So, so if, if, uh, if underscore, underscore underscore name equals to underscore underscore, underscore uh, main, we're going, going to put those two dots above, up, um, above each, each other, other, and we're going, going to say uh, my app dot run. We're going, going to say my app dot run and those. Um, to um yeah those two apostrophes so because that's because it's a function so yeah so this r has to be um not capital and it's equal equal to main let's try and run that and see what's going to happen um What's happening here? Let me scroll up a little bit. Here. Um, self. Uh, my app dot run. So let's see what's the problem here. Um, so let's try rerunning it. Um, rerun. Uh, okay, here. He muted. muted. And now it says vtext that uh, I wanted it to say, coded in for kids. So, yeah, let's, let's, revise, uh, let's revise what we, like, learned. First of all, uh, here we were importing Kimi, um, everything in Kimi in this area. So, you see, if I press on this minus, you don't see nothing. Because all of this is only about importing. Um, yeah, yeah, so, so let's minimize that. that. Now, here we start to coding inside here. So, class my app, what's going, going to be inside my app. Um, so, so, what's going, going to be visible? Now, define both self, so, so it's going, going to start coding here below. Now, we're going to see um, return label, uh, return label text, text and what you want inside. inside. So, so, in this line here, we're going, going to and be telling the computer what we want to print. And here in the following line, you see if name equals to 